Hey, it's Bob here. Just want to have a little rant about drumheads. You know, we're really living in a great time. We have a great range of drumhead manufacturers. We have a great range of products that they provide and the combinations in how they make those drumheads. So we have single ply, double ply. We have a little ring underneath it as well, a bit more mylar, just for a bit of extra tone control if that's what we want to do. Coated, uncoated, with dots, without dots, oil filled, not oil filled, colored, not colored. It's an endless list. And the beauty is we have an endless palette of sound that we can chase to fit in best with the band that we're playing with or the best for the song that we're recording to, to get the right sound. But here's the kicker. Unlike buying a drum kit where you can go to the music shop, they might have one up there as a demo, you can give it a bit of a go, see if it's the kit you like. With drum heads, well, you can't. They stand there in this wonderful rack and you just get to choose one. You get to read the back of the box if they come in a box and see what wonderful adjectives they put on the back. It's like reading the back of a wine bottle, really. And you hope that what they describe is the sound you get. Or you might go to YouTube and you might get somebody showing this, the head that they've got and you hope it kind of sounds like what you're going to get when you're playing the kit, remembering all the other issues that we have within recording that sound. So not just actually physically recording the sound and the quality of the mic, but that little speaker that you're listening to on your phone or on your television. We all know it doesn't sound like the kit that you actually play. Wouldn't it be great if you could go to the music shop and grab a demo head? Now come on Remo, come on Evans, come on Aquarian, back your product, give us a few demos and then we can try and find the head that best suits us. All right, Bob out.